Okay, here comes another email. You're watching the mailbox. I'm Yusuf Estes. I've got a couple of questions here today. It says, do all Muslims have to wear hijab? Do all Muslims have to wear hijab? No. No. Not the boys. Boys don't look good in hijab. <laughs> but to be specific, the mature girls, when they go out in public and people can see them, it is required in Islam for them to be covered up. The covering is described in the Quran in two places, very clear. It's described in many places in the teachings of Muhammad. Peace and blessing be upon him. Understand this, that the hijab is a covering to protect you. It's something that's required in Islam. So it protects you of two things. Something could happen to you in this world, and something can happen to you in the next world as well. So you want to obey Allah and obey the messenger and wear hijab, proper hijab, not this new invented stuff where you put a little scarf on your head and dance around with stuff that looked like a bathing suit with long legs in it. But for sure, it is required in Islam for the sisters, the mature sisters, when they go out in public, to protect themselves and wear outer garments and cover their hair and so on. Let us now look at this. Are questions coming in now? Are they coming in faster than we can answer them here? Okay. All right. What about the Day of Judgment? Is everybody going to be there? Or yeah, We've talked about this in some of our other programs, but to give you an idea about the Day of Judgment, this is going to be a very hot day. The sun will be brought close over our heads. We'll be standing in our own perspiration, and, and only, only those who have really believed and done good works will have a break on that day. They'll be in the shade of Allah where there's no other shade but what Allah provides for us. So we'll be all looking for that. Another thing, the day of judgment is a long day, not like any day we know on earth. And all of us are going to be there for that. So be aware of it and take care about it. In fact, the word taqwa in Arabic is talking about this day as well, that we need to protect ourselves and put a partition between us and Allah's anger on the day of judgment because there will be a lot of that going on there, a lot of heavy, heavy stuff. Next one. Ah, which group should I join? I've heard about these different groups in Islam. We've talked about that one before, but again, you can go to our website for, for all of these questions. Go to the IslamNewsroom.com and type in your keyword, and you'll get answers there. Until the next time on Mailbox, I'm Yusuf Estes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace be upon you.